Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this not so lazy Sunday where I'm trying to watch all the shows and that includes returning back to Ted Lasso season one, episode two. And I wanna take a quick second before, a little bit more than a second, to, before we dive into things, I wanna do some comments, questions, concerns, answers for y'alls. There's a lot and it's probably gonna be stream of conscious, but here we go. The things I love in a show, movie, play, what all, good characters, good pacing, great dialogue. And with episode one, we were given that in spades. And I have a feeling that going forward, I'm going to have a similar issue as I do with my Lucifer reactions is that I cannot include everything that I want to. Copyright, 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 being respectful of copyright. This is not a substitute for watching the whole show. You're getting the little nice highlights and that's what it will be. It will be the highlights. And I have an issue when I edit these down is I like to do like a synopsis. <laughs> like give you parts of the story so that you know what has been happening as we go and not just pick and choose certain scenes. I'm going to have so much trouble with that. But if I don't include one of your favorite lines of dialogue or your favorite scene or something, it is not on purpose. It is because I had to choose. And sometimes it can be a second that makes the difference between that yes and that red. Uh. So do keep that in mind going forward. I know how much you love this and I want to enjoy all of it with you, which is why segue, no segue, full episode watch along is available on Patreon if you want to see every second of it. Another thing I loved about episode one is it did my favorite thing of telling a lot with very little without being obvious about it. Example, right from the moment when we saw the current coach, you could tell instantly you knew he was a wanker and they didn't have to say, this man's a wanker. You saw it. His shorts were maybe possibly a little inappropriately too short. He instantly disparaged gay people. He made the comment about Rebecca's boobs. I mean, you knew he was an ass without them having to say, look, this man is an ass. And there was bits of that all throughout the episode. And I love that subtle, the subtle. Oh. I like over the top, but I also love subtle even the scene that i love i love so much and it was a blinking you miss it moment when i think it's rebecca is showing ted the hall of their history her ex-husband gets brought up and he says to her oh i heard about it how are you holding up and you can see in her eyes for half a second that she didn't know how to respond because this was probably the first time she had been asked how are you doing and also she's a strong woman She's supposed to be put together. She is beautiful. She's wealthy. She's not going to show any sort of weakness or say that things aren't fine or that she's having trouble. She's going to say, I'm fine. But I don't think anybody had asked her until Ted. And that little moment, beautiful. And the whole phone call at the end, you knew what was being said on the other line. Just by his expression and how he responded, you knew what the other person was saying without actually having to hear them. Beautiful, brilliant, loved it. So I'm really excited going forward. What else we're gonna get? Thank you also, this person that, that told me what a shocker was. <laughs> okay, now I got some context because I was thinking, what the hell is a shocker? I'm trying to think like, because in the United States, mascot being Moscow is so, everything has to have a mascot because that's marketable. I was trying to think, what the hell would the mascot shocker look like? But it's a shock of wheat. Still dumb, but at least now I can visualize it. And also my eldest squid was up here visiting me yesterday. <laughs> and I was mentioning I'm watching, she has seen the whole series. And so I mentioned I started it and how some of the dialogue was great. And the line about jump like a cat seeing a cucumber. I'm like, what is that? And she goes, oh, you don't know? So she showed me, I've now got been introduced to the cat and the cucumber videos. Animals are weird. So we are going to get started and I hope you have all your favorite beverages. I am drinking. <laughs> 
uh, Patreon Francesca said that she had been drinking a limoncello spritzer. And I happen to have a bottle of limoncello that's been in there forever. And I don't know what to do with this. So I thought, hey, great, let's make something. And I looked up the recipe and I had all the ingredients, which is like, oh, I have all the ingredients. But also, who carries a bottle of Prosecco in the fridge all the time? That would be me. That would be me. So here I have my limoncello spritzer. And yes, I've had one already. Watching black sales. We'll see if my brain works by the end of this episode. Okay, so we're synced. I'm synced. <laughs> Let's get to it. Oh, we're picking right up where we left off. The one shredded wheat. My grandparents would hit to eat those. Morning, coach. Morning, coach. You want to grab some breakfast? No, I just had one piece of cereal. And I'm... It's a big piece. Big shredded wheat. Stuff. We go for coffee, though. I was going to say, where's he going to find coffee? He'll find coffee. Oh, what's the coffee place that's like every two feet? What's the coffee? Prêt de manger. It's everywhere. <laughs> so will Ted know what a good footballer looks like? This talent, the skills, the stamina. Will he be able to recognize that? Knock a doodle do. <laughs> hey, look at us. Look at us. Look at us. I brought you a little something. Oh, yeah, cookies. Oh, Ted, I don't, I don't really. Oh, come on, I'll take a look at there. Where did he get these? Where did he get these cookies? Vanilla. That's it. Where you go? Did he bring them from home? Fuck me. I'm glad you like them. You know what? I'll start bringing these to you every morning. Call Biscuits with the Boss. That really isn't necessary. Okay, well, mark this down as the first time we disagree, then. <laughs> you know, we can't really be, uh, you know, good partners unless we get to know each other, right? Well, we're yeah. going to do uh, first concert, best concert. Oh, he really wants to get to know her. Biscuits with the Boss is not something that I have time for this morning. Or ever. I hear you, boss. You're going to show up tomorrow with biscuits, aren't you? Oh, come on now. I would not bet on that. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to win a buttload of money. <laughs> High five, tree. Woo! High five, tree. Woo! Where are his other coaches? He needs his offensive and his defensive coaches, right? They have offensive and defensive coaches in football, don't they? Hey, look at Isaac. He looks like Rodan sculpture and cleats. I thought you said that the trunk of a car was a boot. Mm -hmm. If I were to get fired from a job where I'm putting cleats in the trunk of my car. You got the boot for putting boots in the boots. <laughs> I love that. <sighs> Coach, I'm, I'm sorry. You know what the happiest animal on earth is? It's a goldfish. It's got a 10 second memory. Be a goldfish, Sam. Yeah? Yeah, you got it. Go ahead. <laughs> Seems a little down in the dumps. Yeah, he's been uh, underachieving. Yeah, well, first time away from home is never easy. We're gonna have to do something to not cheer you him up, right? Oh. Oh. Ted Lasso was in my office. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. What's the first concert you ever saw? But she has the cookies in her hand. Do you know which of the players has the most sway in the locker room? Uh, no. <laughs> Three? Find out when Lasso got those biscuits. We would like to start fiddling with the way we do things here in the locker room. Ooh. And if the internet has taught us anything, it's that sometimes it's easier to speak our minds anonymously. So I asked Nate here to make us a good old fashioned suggestion box. Okay. She loves crap. This could go, uh -huh. yeah. this could go poorly. <laughs> you could have issue with uh, the color of the towels or heck, the food in the van. Heck. The food in the vending machine. Oh. <clears throat> He's coming through the door. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you seem undeterred. Mm. Mm. Oh, is this the X? Solid entrance. <laughs> oh. Who would you rather be, a lion or a panda? Can't remember her name, but what's her name? That Rebecca is an intimidating, very tall woman. You know, she got some pants on, right? But he's got to hop over them. Just got to hop over them. 
Jamie, what would you rather be, a lion or a panda? Coach, I'm me. Why would I want to be anything else? I'm not sure you realize how psychologically healthy that actually is. <laughs> Night court. Night court. <laughs> a little boy told me. Yeah. Why? What are you talking about? Hey, these are Oh, don't try to break up a marriage, Rebecca. Hey. Oh, there's there's paper in there. Is it for real? Fuck off. Wanker. Piss off, wanker. I hope you choke on a Big Mac. Good thing these are anonymous. No, Roy signed that one. Roy. Oh, here's a good one. Shower pressure is rubbish. Make a note of that. Mm-hmm. You don't want to let them call you a wanker, Ted. What, uh, what's a wanker? Oh. <laughs> I'm a visual learner, so that's very helpful. Thank you. It's a, is it automatopoeia? Words that sound like they s sound. <laughs> Young lady, come on. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> are you kidding me? She spun you around like the Tasmanian devil. Yeah, she did, except without all that annoying. <laughs> Wrong again. What time is it? Yeah. Biscuits with the boss time. Who? What? And Higgins. Hi. And Higgins. Ow. Pow. Let's tie up some loose ends from yesterday. First concert, Kenny Rogers, right? Best concert. We got Beastie Boys at Horde Fest, 1995. You're gonna love this story. Oh, it's a story. Actually, did y'all get the OJ trial over here? Ted, please. Everybody in this building, part of the team. Team's got a bond, all right? I mean, heck, Higgins and I are having lunch today. Ooh. Are they? Are they? Caesar, you later. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. How many doors did he break doing that? <laughs> okay, Sam's birthday's on Saturday, so I was thinking we'd all chip in, right? So Nate's gonna be coming around with yet another <laughs> impressive box. Look at this, wow, he's got a face! Uh, <laughs> yep, you put the money in his mouth. Okay, you hear that, y'all? Well, this is a decent box, this is a good idea. You can't be, yeah. oh, Jamie, don't be a dick. You're me for you. Mm -hmm. Real quick, uh, I just want to have a chat. Did you put gum in? Oh, he's going to call him on it. Yeah, and I see this team like a band. I'd be Mick Jagger. Sure. I've got the moves. Got a tiny waist, yeah, a whole bit. I get it. <laughs> and Roy would be Keith Richards, because he's old and everyone's surprised he ain't dead yet. <laughs> I'll be better, promise. Hmm. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Why is he, um... Putting up the Boy Scout promise. Do they have Boy Scouts in the UK? I didn't think they did. How are you feeling about taking on Crystal Palace this weekend? A uh, palace made out of crystal seems mighty fragile, if you ask me. Waka, waka, waka. Just curious, could you explain the offside rule? <laughs> well, Trey, I'm going to put it the same way the US Supreme Court this. did back in 1964 when they defined pornography. It ain't easy to explain, but you know when you see it. I was slick. Oh, it's the sun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Any thoughts on the newest Rupert girl? Not relevant to the conversation. Now, I mean, she says it started five years ago, and they kept it going until, well, still. And all this time I thought men couldn't multitask. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, she's going to eat all of them cookies. This, uh, this is a care package for my little boy. He's got a uh, small battalion of army men. Uh, oh. Boop, 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 boop. Excellent. Only got one of those, though, so you can't. <laughs> you got some kind of food or something that just teleports you right back home, make you feel all warm and fuzzy? No. The shortbread. I'll give you one of these stingers. Okay, this right here is going to be your first line of defense in case that little turkey Ernie Lyons comes back around, huh? Oh, and he remembers his first and last name. So you went with the lion, huh? Yeah. I'm a little hurt, but... <laughs> but I do think it's better looked than the panda. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look, I'm famished. Yeah, most lions are. <laughs> okay. You hungry? Yeah, is it free? <laughs> I'm getting paid a shit ton to get dressed up like an animal and sell caffeinated vodka. Caffeinated vodka? Ooh. I wanted to ask you about Jamie. What would you say motivates him? 
blowjobs. Is there a second option? I think he's a little bit vain. So flattery. Actually, he responds well to positive reinforcement. Flattery. Oh, you got some ketchup there. It looks like you devoured an antelope. Nothing. Just be careful. Hold on. Yeah, I feel that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, we saw that coming. Well, that's all we got for you, except for one thing. Uh, and that's happy birthday, Sam! <laughs> How can you besmirch this guy? Give him, wishing him a happy birthday. Your new country with a new team. New decade. Well, we got a few things in there for you. What's, what's, what's this? <laughs> I'll keep you safe while I'm away. My dad used to, it was just to pinch my earlobes for good luck. <laughs> Is it okay if I, if I don't keep this? I don't, I don't really have the same fondness for the American military that you do. Oh, sure. Fine. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. He appreciated the sentiment and went, but, thank you, but, very polite way. You ready? Five down. Chris, did you ever play under an American manager? Never did, Arlo. Are there any American managers in the UK? In the whole premier, the whole soccer system. Yeah. But he's coaching your home team, y'all, so you might want to give him a wee bit of support. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Chance. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. We got 90 minutes to prove him wrong, yeah? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. The only bright spot being the defensive play of Sam Obi Sanya. Sam, mm hmm. If about me, it would have been 4 0, you miserable old pricks. And a meaningless consolation goal for Jamie Tart. Consolation goal. <laughs> I haven't known you that long, but I can honestly say you are the best athlete I have ever coached. Really? Really? You are truly great at everything you do out there. Except for one thing. My left foot cross. No. Jamie, I think that you might be so sure that you're one in a million that sometimes you forget that out there you're just one of 11. That's a heck of a goal out there, by the way. Thanks. And then the article's going to come out. That was fucking embarrassing! Oh, I, I am equally livid. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Got him the decent water pressure. Hey, let's shake this one off, all right? Start getting better on Monday. Come on now. Everybody get some cake. You know what Sam's birthday? I know it would mean a lot to the guys if y'all just came down, joined in. Let them know you're still in the corner. That's all the arm twist I'm going to do, though, OK? You know what might convince me? If you told me we got these delicious biscuits. Well, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to bring you more on Monday, now would I? <laughs> How are you taking the loss? Uh, it's not just me, though, is it? We're a team. I'm just one of 11. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, but here's his ego. Here's his ego. Okay, yeah, I am taking it pretty hard, you know? The rest of them, they're all in there eating cake. The new gaffer's got music on in there. It's like a party, it's a joke. I saw the match. Oh yeah? What'd you think? You were rubbish. Oh, is she gonna coach him? See, no one sees me coming. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Oh boy, that was quick. Let me get, let me stretch here a little bit. Here we go. Coming through the air. Here comes the story. That's exactly what I wanted. Are you sure you want to do this? will eat them alive he is baking the cookies himself I knew it Miss Wilson I 
her hatred of her ex-husband is more than anything. Hmm. So some of the things I'm afraid of going forward is this is episode two. Of course, the course of the story is not going to be smooth sailing. There has to be obstacles because that's what makes it. If we didn't have obstacles, we'd have Great British Breaking Show, right? <laughs> right? And even then, even then. So I know at times something terrible is going to befall Ted and I'm going to be crushed. Right now I'm in the we must protect this man at all costs mode. I was also hoping, and it looked like we might get some for now. I didn't need, I didn't want all of the team members to be to Ted. I need people on, I need somebody on his side. They can't all be assholes. Because again, this is your coach. My logic, you're on a team. They bring in somebody new in charge. Maybe you don't care for them too much. But you don't know who they are at this point. It's just somebody new. That's the thing is somebody new you're not immediately going to be an asshat and do poorly because if you want to leave you need to show that you will bring value to whatever team you are going to go into next so you don't mess up and show how you're a crap player you're going to show you're the best player so being so on ted does not make sense advantageously going forward so all the players that are ranking on him that's not going to help you. That's not going to help you. But seeing that Rebecca's hatred towards her ex-husband outweighs everything. God, you think you'd want to go backwards and make the team better than it was under his ownership to show what a loser he was that he couldn't be as successful as you. That would be my strategy and make it look so unlike the team he had. Maybe she'll get there, maybe she won't. Again, episode two. But I love St. England. I love them being in the pub. I love his neighborhood. Uh, last time I was in England was in last summer and watching this makes me miss it so much that I'm, I'm glad I get to revisit it again. But badness is coming forward because that story's gonna come out. Jamie and his, the girl, Cannot remember him. Keely, are they married or are they just dating? Because he better be nice to her because she is so nice to him. Ugh. Ugh. The badness is coming. We know the badness is coming. <laughs> but there we go. Episode two. Thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. And until next time, this is just my reminder that if you haven't in a while, go eat something. Toast, I always say, is magical. Stand up, stretch your body, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.